What is up YouTube? Today we're going to be taking a closer look at a ROM. Yes, a custom ROM that is designed for the Moto E. And that ROM is known as the Gummy ROM. This is developed by the same developer who has developed the CM11. That is the unofficial build and even this one is an unofficial build. So let's take a closer look inside it from the boot up. And the thing that I'm using right now is multi-ROM. So I can pretty much select my primary ROM. This is the CM11. And this is my secondary ROM as a gummy ROM. I'll be talking about the multi-ROM and how to flash it and install it in my next video. So stay tuned and do subscribe to know more about it. So let's boot up the gummy ROM right now. So the boot animation is pretty fancy in this, I must say. Uh, you can take a closer look at it now. And that's the boot animation. Oh, and did I mention this device is Moto E, a rooted Moto E. And there we go. So the device is booted. This is the lock screen. We come from the lock screen. Uh, you might see that the screen looks a bit bigger or something. It's Moto E for sure. No doubt, it's Moto E. Um, I've actually decreased the screen density, so I'll be talking about that closer in this video again. Uh, let's unlock this. All right, so this is the device. I have actually brought a few changes to the status bar. As you can see, the date, time, and the battery also. So I'm going to be showing you how to customize that. And I didn't bring any changes to the uh, navigation bar as I've let, left it just like that so there are a whole lot of icons as you can see it's because I've decreased the density yes this ROM allows you to decrease the screen density and uh, that allows you again to have more space to occupy more stuff inside so its main beauty comes in the settings okay uh, nothing fancy in its apps it's all the same we've got DSP manager for the uh, audio effects and blah 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 so this is the status bar oops okay so this is the status bar um, nothing fancy out here oh, but over here um, you can pretty much change the text colors out there I've set it as blue you can change it to any colors you want and I've changed the battery animation over here like dotted circle you cannot see the dots I suppose the camera is not able to record that but yes it's dotted you can even change that so we have a lot of toggles to keep up over here like the camera you can open up the camera just from here and that's pretty sweet um, we have expanded uh, or what you say is similar to the immersive mode uh, you can play music right from here so that's pretty sweet and uh, we have performance profile that has balanced uh, power saver and performance so just a second yeah balanced right now and default and uh, screen auto rotation you, you even have the reboot option so long pressing this one will reboot the device and uh, one tap you get this recovery long pressing the recovery will put into recovery mode again uh, you can even keep a lot of more tiles and layouts so let's check that out by getting into the settings okay so I, I'm inside the settings we have everything just similar to other ROMs but here is the special part so gummy interface okay the first one allows you to mod your status bar and notification drawer so the changes you can see over here is by my status bar alright so the thing flashing over here is my proximity sensor uh, or maybe light sensor I'm not sure about it the FPS is matching with the camera's FPS 
so we get inside the status bar and you can pretty much change the battery icon again over here as I said it's dotted circle with percentage you can change it into um, no battery that is you can disable it or icon with percentage like JB style over here and you can even change the color and text of the batteries so I would prefer icon with okay circle with percentage yeah so that's the change at there and let's get back you can change the clock and date battery icon status bar signal style uh, type of notifications you want and uh, brightness control is you can even change the brightness control over here by taking out the auto mode so it's in full brightness now just tap this so this allows you to slide over your status bar to decrease or increase the brightness so that's pretty neat but I pretty much prefer auto brightness so I don't like to get around with this brightness thing you know okay so notification drawer over here you can change the style of the notification drawer you can have maximum transparency as you can see there's minimal transparency out there but making it 100% makes it a bit transparent as you can see it there uh, over here I can see a whole lot of transparency but since it's in camera you, you might not see it a big difference and uh, over here is the style so everything out there the color and quick pull down action the number of tiles you want in the row is changed out there you can change the tiles and layout okay so over here you can add a numerous number of tiles so network mode quick record quick towers screen timeout and much much more like that just like I've added all these toggles in default you just get about six toggles that are the main primary six toggles okay so getting off this status bar and notification drive we have advanced cami options over here you have you can change the navigation bar style and stuff like that related to the navigation bar uh, you can have pi controls so I have enabled pi controls that is uh, you get the pi controls wherever you want uh, let me tell you that this ROM also has one bug that the home key doesn't work sad but I'm sure it would be fixed soon uh, you have this heads up notification the notification pops out in the front without even pulling down your status bar so that's great and uh, different screen security and much more like that you can even mod the lock screen so I've enabled active display uh, I'll be showing you the active display right now and uh, you can even have a lot of different options to color your lock screen uh, so the different rings you want to color and all those stuff over here is sliders targets you can have minimal of eight slider targets a maximum of eight slider targets as yet uh, so over here is shortcuts long press we don't need that okay so all these empty dots you can fill in with custom apps you want and then getting back um, if you want battery around unlock ring you can have it okay so this is much about advanced cami options and uh, this is the Pi control as I said you can move it from here to here just by swapping it and then you get the pie controls out here okay so that was the pie controls and let's get to advanced system options over here you can tweak your systems uh, thing so we don't mind this device option blacklist weight lock and blah 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 all we need is oops performance okay so you can pretty much change your iOS scheduler flashing a new kernel would get more of these and uh, processor you can change the minimum C CPU frequency and maximum CPU frequency as you want having minimum frequency will get you more 
uh, battery. So performance is to have performance mod. I don't know why this shortcut is not working right now. But anyways, you can change the CPU governor. I prefer on demand with minimum frequency as 300 megahertz. And uh, memory management for RAM, ZRAM, 18%. And for extra graphical uh, gaming for preventing lags, you may use 16-bit transparency, but that can, uh, you know, cause a little bit of extra artifacts in your games you play. So that was about advanced system options, general gummy options. Uh, this one is has, yeah, having the double tap to sleep option, so I double tap to this bar. And the CRD animation, you get it out there. You can have the CRD animation just like this, and much, much more. App options, not required for me right now, but you can use this for changing anything in your apps if you want to. But basically, it's the system apps. And they have provided this dark gummy, which gives a full black, pure pitch black uh, interface. So that looks pretty neat, actually. And uh, I'm pretty much fond of this pure black experience. So this ROM is pretty much like the carbon ROM, the same unofficial carbon ROM that was for the Moto E, but it has a lot of bugs. That is again designed as the Gummy ROM to have the same experience. Uh, talking about the RAM usage of this ROM, uh, let's take a look. So it's 529 megabytes free and 389 megabytes in usage. This is not bad at all. I must say this is not bad at all. And uh, battery is uh i've just now booted up the uh phone so i'm not sure about the battery percentage but the battery is dropping a bit faster as you can see the screen is occupying about 51 percent because of all these changes and yes you can change the uh, screen density like i did uh, by going to display and over here you have the option to change the lcd density Default would be 240 and uh, reducing it will bring more space to your uh, home page and to full system user interface. So that's pretty neat again. Um, font size, you can change the font size according to your needs. Um, pulse notification, that is the light over here. You can even change its speed. So over here we get the default value. As you can see, oops, you can have it very faster. So it keeps blinking fast enough to notify you instantly. So it's your wish again. And all those CM themes are also supported through this one. You can install themes. Uh, right now I'm on the default theme pack. Uh, I have this Android L theme pack, so let's check that out. Okay, so I'm applying it, yes, okay, navigation bar has changed, uh, even the signal bar seems to be changed, uh, it's not focusing, yeah, done. Okay, let's get back to the home page. Yes, so this is it you have this quick clear all apps and this is it all about this ROM I mean uh, it's a pretty customizable ROM uh, for those who like theming and stuff this ROM is totally perfect for them and uh, yeah that is it so thanks for watching guys oh finally it has changed to performance yes now it's changing so it's in power saver now okay let it focus god it's not focusing yeah it's in power save balanced performance
it depends on your needs and that is it thanks for watching guys please subscribe and i'll talk to you in the next one to check out the cyanogen mod review please head to the description below and i'll talk to you in the next one I'm ready for the